so R5 in Chicago, I had a meet and greet for this. Don't ask me how it went, but I'm sure it probably went fine because I don't really remember it. Um, but I was front row. I was finally front row. This was the first show I'd ever been front row for, for them, um, which I thought was not possible. But I got front row, and it was kind of insane. Front row is just kind of a different experience, even from, like, second row, that, like, if you don't do it, you just will never know. And it's it's weird. It's so weird. And I'm not really sure I liked it all that much, because, like, just being that, like... Obviously, the stage was taller than me. <laughs> so, I mean, like, I'm 5'5", five five, but I'm pretty sure the stage was taller than me, or, like, at least 5 foot. So it, it wasn't that much shorter than me. So... It's kind of weird just to be like looking up and there's like a person right there. Um, that's something I hate about like small shows is when the stage is like one foot taller than the ground and then there's no barricade. So you're this next to the person who's playing on stage and you're like, if I look up, we will make eye contact and we don't want to do that for an entire 90 minutes of this show or like 45 minutes or any amount of time at all because it's weird. <laughs> It's weird to be this close to somebody while they're playing a show and you're just listening and standing and doing nothing. And that's kind of what this felt like. It was also so much fun. The openers were Ryland, again, obviously, we got those family ties there. And then Max, who this was the first time I had ever seen Max. And he was insane. Like, the videos I have, he was insane in 2016 and he's only gotten better. Obviously, I think I've seen him three more times after this performance, and he's so good. <laughs> like, I love seeing him perform. It's just always so much fun, and he always puts so much into it. And then R5 was great, obviously. They typically know what they're doing. Like, they were, the music they make was made to be performed. That's why, like, I hate telling people about their studio stuff, because their studio stuff, if I'm being completely honest, is bad. But if you go and watch them on stage, it is a completely different band and it's so much more worth it. I'm not sure that was proper grammar. It's so much more, it's much more worth it. That's not it either. For like a live show, even if you go in blind, you're gonna have fun at that show. Um, I remember somebody um, said that Ross Lynch, who obviously is the front man of the band, if you, gave, if you put Ross on stage and gave him a bottle of wine to hold, he would pretty much be like like Matt Healy of the 1975. And I saw that and like I was like, oh, <laughs> that's like very true actually, not gonna lie. Um, he is really, really like, he's an incredible front man. But it was really fun. I really don't remember anything about this show, but I remember like I had known Max for like four years before this and I'd finally saw, like seen him. It wasn't like a huge priority for me to see him live, but getting to see him live with this was just kind of incredible to the point where like I bought tickets to the R5 show the next day knowing that I would not see R5. I would only see the openers, which was Max and Ryland, um, because I wanted to see Max that badly. <laughs> Maybe she's just too old for me Living in a teenage fantasy Feeling there's so much we could be She's got me wishing Wishing I was 23 Yeah, she's crazy, I don't care She's sexy and she's brilliant The way she gets me so unfair She's a big old rich girl She's smoking hot Even though that means I need her She loves her photography Everything that's in between She's been around the world I know She's graduated I'm not quite educated I know You're not Ages overrated She's just too old for me Living in a teenage fantasy Living there's so much we could be 
I'll see you soon and lots of promise. Bye!